If you try this stew, eh, you will never want to eat tomato stew ever again. It smells nice, the taste is on another level, and your taste buds will be wondering what it just tasted in the first few seconds. It's indeed a fusion of flavors. I am sure those of you who know this stew can perceive the aroma through your screens. Here are the ingredients you will need. Dry fish, it can be mangala or dry catfish. Mackerel, I recommend mackerel over any fish in the world. But if you absolutely cannot find it, use gilt head sea bream fish. Crayfish, if you don't have any of these ingredients, feel free to let me know in the comments so I will recommend a good alternative. For seasoning, you will need two small gnaw cubes. There are two in one wrap and a small ball of ogiri pei. This is different from ogiri bo, the one we prepared last week. Habanero pepper, add as much as you and your family can handle. Red onions, I highly recommend red onions. In fact, without red onions, ofaku is not complete, simple and short. <laughs> Beef, buy any juicy part of beef. This one is shank. Palm fruit. If you don't have palm fruit, you can use the tinned palm fruit concentrate. I have a video where I use that one. Link in the description. Then, scent leaves. Let me say it now. I am pulling my ear while saying it. This is not mint leaves, so... Mint leaves will ruin your ofa pata pata. First, let's prepare the ingredients that take a bit of time. Pour water to cover the dry fish and set it aside to soften. Smoke the mackerel in the oven. I have a detailed video on how to do that. Link below. Cook the palm fruit and the beef. You can save a lot of time cooking Nigerian food when you have at least two burners. Add half of the chopped onions, no cubes. Give it a stir. Cover and let it steam on medium heat. Pour some water to cover the palm fruits. I rinse them very well before putting in the pot. Cover and start cooking. Pound the pepper and the ogiriyo bay till smooth. Keep an eye on the beef. Yes, all that liquid came from the beef. I've not added any water yet. Once you confirm that it's gotten a good steam all over, add some water and continue cooking. When the dry fish is soft, clean, debone and break it into small pieces. By now, the mackerel should be ready to debone and break it into pieces. This is a special bone. If you know, you know. <laughs> when the beef is done, remove them and set the beef stock aside. grill the meat in the oven. This puts it in the perfect state for ofaku. By now, the palm fruit should be well cooked. Please note that I was checking it and topping up the water as necessary all this while. It's well cooked when you can easily rub the flesh off the knot with your fingers like this. Pound it in a mortar. Do you know that you can eat boiled palm fruits? <laughs> Yummy! If you have ever eaten boiled or roasted palm fruits please go down in the comments and help me describe the taste for those who haven't because words fail me i sometimes lack words to describe all the wonderful nigerian foods we enjoy it's advisable to do the pounding while the palm fruits are still piping hot because it's easier for the flesh to come off the fruit and turn into a smooth pulp while it is still very hot I wonder which kitchen appliance can do this very well. Can a food processor do this? If you have ever used a food processor or any other appliance for this, please describe the process in the comments. Thank you.
Okay, for best results with the palm fruit concentrate, I sort out the palm nuts from the pulp. This may seem like an unnecessary step, but this will give me the thickest palm fruit concentrate. If I'm preparing a Nigerian soup, I may skip this step because usually Nigerian soups that we use palm fruit concentrate to prepare come with thickness. So I won't have the issue of that being watery. Yeah. So I sort the nuts and put in a separate bowl. Next, we use hot water to rinse off the palm oil from the nuts and the pulp. Please use water that is as hot as your hands can handle, Biko. Don't come and burn yourself. Oh. Also, use as little water as possible for each batch because you want the concentrate as thick as possible. And what do I do with the nuts? You crack them and eat with lots of different food items. Bread, cookies, roasted okwa and many more. I can make a whole video on that. Do you want an Aki mukbang? Do you? Do you? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> when done slowly decant the palm fruit concentrate into the pot you use to cook this stew you see those items at the bottom you don't want them in your stew keep an eye on the beef oh, you want it moist not dry To the palm fruit concentrate, add the dry fish, the remaining onions, the ogiriope and pepper, crayfish, the grilled meat, the beef stock, I nearly forgot it, and click the like button. Have you liked this video yet? Have you? Have you? You're busy drooling, Okuya. <laughs> Cover and start cooking on high heat. Slice the scent leaves. Are you taking note of how to slice leafy vegetables super fast? No need to arrange them in rows and columns. Nobody has got time for that. Let's check the stew. Looking at the edge of the pot, I know it has not cooked for long enough. I'll show you what you'll see when that happens. Cover and continue cooking. Now, you see that oil floating at the edge of the pot? That's proof that it has cooked for long enough. Add the smoked mackerel, the scent leaves, Add salt if necessary. Once it boils again, it's done. Look at that. Can you smell it? Can you? Can you? Bye-bye, see you soon.